What is going on folks out here in the garage today doing a little maintenance? I'm going to give you a few tips on maintaining your RC fishing surfer. Check this out. I'm going to tell you right now that if you're not doing some sort of preventative maintenance after each use, you're going to have corrosion issues in there. Uh, so here's a couple tips that I found while using and maintaining the RC Fishing Surfer that have helped me out. As you can see there, I got two of them set up ready to go. The uh, thing that I've replaced the most so far is motors. I've replaced a motor in each one of those and that's due to corrosion issues. Tip number one, just go out and get you a big can of Corrosion X. You can find it on Amazon. I think that box, that, that bottle right there ran me about $24. I think it is. It's completely safe to use on your electronics. Spray that in there after each use down on your motor and uh, you shouldn't have any issues. This motor was not sprayed down, or it was, but it was a little too late. Um, that's not decorative coating, that's rubbing from the inside. What I can show you here, it's a pretty strong magnet around the windings. But this is a brushless motor. What that means is that when electricity is applied to your brushes here, your windings, it'll cause it to rotate around these magnets in here. That's what gives you your power coming in. You can see here where the camera zooms in. Corrosion's gotten into that bearing right there. And I've cleaned this up a little bit, but corrosion got all around in here. There we go. You can see some of it down on the disc there. Uh, but all of these were corroded up. That Corrosion X will help stop and prevent that. So make sure you go get you a big bottle of Corrosion X. It does come in a small bottle. I have the small bottle here um, that I started with, but the aerosol makes it really nice to be able to spray down and get down in that motors, get down into your motor. I would also recommend spraying on any other electronic connections that you have inside the, uh, inside the cavity of the boat, like where your GPS antenna gets its power uh, spray in there. You can spray it in the uh, depth finder um, Connection just get a little squirt down in there that you probably only have to do once Maybe every four trips five trips, maybe I'd spray the motors down after every trip The next thing I would do is get you a bottle of what's called speed X right there this is to lubricate your attach points where your uh, rod is going in and out on the back and on the bottom. I'll show you real quick. You're going to want to put a couple drops right in there and then actuate your uh, release mechanism there and right there as well. Doesn't take much. I also put a few drops down on that bearing there's a bearing right behind that brass fitting there. Put a couple drops in there to keep those bearings lubed up. Okay, the next thing I do when I come home, this is step number three, maintaining your, your RC fishing surfer, is I open up the cavity, make sure everything's dried off on the outside. Then I have one of those What's that called? Central machinery fan, little three-speed blower I got from Harbor Freight. That fits perfectly right here on top of the boat. Just like that. I turn this on and I let it blow in there overnight. Make sure I'm getting all the water dried out of there. Uh, because the boat does have seepage I'll call it. it's not leaks but uh, water does get in there um, and salt water extremely corrosive you definitely don't want it blowing or staying in there 
on your electronics causing that corrosion. Even though you've taken the proper measures and sprayed everything with your Corrosion X, you can still have corrosion issues in there if not properly uh, dried out. So I always keep a towel in my box, a little red box there. Um, keep a small little towel in there so I can dry the, the boat off before I package it up for the day or for the night. I mainly use it to drop my small shark baits um, when I'm running out and, uh, and it seems to work great. Again, the only issues I've had so far are the two motors I've replaced, one in each one of these boats. Uh, and that's because I didn't get the corrosion preventative in there in time. Uh, I didn't start using it until uh, recently, probably the last, let's say, month maybe, of getting everything in there. Now, for everyone who has questions or uh, about weight or has complaints about the amount of weight and what the RC Fishing Surfer can do, stay tuned. I'm going to start uh, doing some modifications. Um, I'm going to start upgrading motors to see if maybe some bigger motors in there can't help overcome some of that uh, current issues that we're having again one to two foot chop you're gonna be fine light current you're okay if there's a medium to strong current out there the boats not gonna be able to pull the weight uh, to get your bait out there so you got to fish it smartly uh, and what it's intended to do and use it as it's intended to, to be used um, as, I've, as I've said you know for the average surf fisherman wanting to run a blue runner or a whiting that's what I use for my baits uh, half a whiting, blue runner, I use pompano heads, I've used grouper heads, um, big baits, that's about the biggest I've, I've run out. I haven't tried a stingray wing yet, that's coming up, um, to try to get them out there and drop for baits. But the sharks I'm going for are going to be six foot and under, and uh, here along the Florida Panhandle, it'll be in between the first and second bar. I don't even run it out max. Uh, uh, distance of the 500 meters I stay around the 225 250 uh, and that seems to be work for me I catch plenty of sharks that way and uh, have a good time while we're out there on the beach so I use it uh, that's how I use it uh, if you're gonna haul big baits out there it's probably not for you uh, you may want to uh, look into the aqua cat um, and the difference is that the fishing surfer runs on a 9.6 uh, volt system where the AquaCat is a 24 volt system. It's got a big single motor. It's going to carry a lot more weight. It's got a lot more power. Once I found that out, that's what got me start looking into the different size RC motors to see what I can't put in this to make this just as competitive um, for my own personal use. Not with Joyceware or anything like that. They have a great product as intended to use, but I'm a tinker. I like to modify things. And I think I can get some more power out of this to haul some of those big baits. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.